Welcome to the Golden Experience, and I have on the show today one of the realtors here, Naria Jones. She's one of our new realtors. Um, and Naria, um, first of all, where are you from? What do you do? Where did you do? <laughs> Tell me all your. Uh, I grew up in Norfolk. I currently live in Farmington Hills. What do you mean? What I do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you do? Uh, how did you come to Elegant Homes Realty? I was a bartender slash server slash manager at a restaurant. Um, I'm currently in school. I graduate this year. I'm a finance major. December 2021. Woo. Graduation date, right? Yes. All yes. Right. Um, how did I get here? Well, basically, being a finance major, you're stuck behind a computer and making spreadsheets all day. And I just feel like, for me personally, I'm just a little bit too social for that. <laughs> Uh, I like to be interacting, you know, hands-on in front of people. So I just was trying to figure out what else to do. But, like, besides that, and I've always, you know, like, loved, like, looking at homes, had a passion for helping people. And what better way to do that than help aiding them in the biggest, like, purchase in, of their life, you know, something right. that they're going to love. Your home is your sanctuary. So and, so you recently left where you were at, right? Mm -hmm. What, tell me what that felt like and your feelings of taking the jump away from a job that had steady income as opposed to being a realtor, which sometimes cannot be as steady. Right. And, uh, you know, work, being your own boss, you, you mentioned one term. What girl is boss. It? Girl boss. <laughs> I'm a girl boss. Girl <laughs> boss. And, and being a girl boss. So <laughs> run me through the emotions of that. Um, Terrifying, for sure. Um. But it was terrifying, but liberating at the same time. Uh, terrifying because I was used to making quick money. You know, I would go into work and be like, okay, I need to make this amount or I want to have this amount. And then it would, I would have that. Now, it's just, it's just my, it's the client's pace and it's also my pace as well. It's much slower. So I had to get like used to that, you know, change my mindset on that. But very liberating because I'm in control of my own successes. Like I, mm -hmm. I get to, I get to do, I thoroughly enjoy what I'm doing and uh, it, I made the best decision leaving that job. Not that there was anything wrong with that job as at all, but I'm in control of my life. I don't have to listen to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works. <laughs> <laughs> that works. So, and you came here. The I think the first time that we saw you, you came to a company event. We were, um, we had a bus, and um, and we went to <laughs> went to Top Golf. Mm -hmm. The bus was was interesting. I was tame of, as usual and quiet. And so, so what did you think about like when you first meet these realtors, and what what was your perception of real estate as opposed to when you first come on a bus and you meet the, <laughs> meet the realtors that. You know, well, you're with now. I thought, you know, like, it was very strict. Like, you had to come in the office, be, like, dressed, like, business-oriented. You know, you had to wear suits, dresses, all that. It was just very exciting, and, like, it felt very, like, free to me in the sense that it was a little bit more casual than I thought it was, and not, like, bad casual, but it was, like, it felt... It was relaxing, like, and it was a comfort to me yeah. rather than, like, so stressful is what I thought I was going to be walking myself into. The bus was fun, you know. Everybody was super, like, welcoming, very, like, it was like I had walked into, like, a giant family, uh -huh. and whereas I had went, been to other brokerages, and I did not feel that at all. It was, uh -huh. like, a very family-oriented culture. Hold on. Here. What in the world are you doing going to other brokers? I what in the world? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what you mean you was going to other brokers? <laughs> I had to weigh my options, you know, to see which culture I fit into. And then the moment I walked in here, I was just like, okay, yes, like this is it. I like, uh, I came in and then I sat down in the meeting that we have every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. After that, I had a one on one with Daryl, and I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. This is where I need to be. Uh, I'm going to go up from here. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> She's going to shop in the other boat. <laughs> I had to look. You, you can't just go with, like, the first one. Yeah. So you, you took the test. Mm -hmm. 
Um, how was the test? Oh my god! For those who, who <laughs> if you want to become a realtor and take the test, how was the studying for the? So you were you were you were working. Yeah. You were in college, mm -hmm. and you're studying for real estate. Mm -hmm. So you can do it. No excuses. You you yeah. made it happen. What? I took the test. Um, and I the course all within three months. Okay. Yeah, okay. I took the course was online. Um. I kind of speed raced it, which I would not recommend doing. I was just, I was handling a lot at once, and I just really, I needed to, like, finish it because I had, I was already on, like, a time crunch myself. I had put, put it to where I was going to be done with my other job in December. But now that I had dove into this, I'm like, okay, I need to be done with it quicker. So I just, like, kind of, like, flew by it. Or flew through it. I do not recommend that doing that at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I finished it within uh, the uh, the schooling and the test all within three months. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. So how was it? Was the test hard to you? It was hard. Um, I will not knock that. It definitely was hard. But it it tells a story, which is <laughs> I feel like the it, it did in my <laughs> the, the, told the a, questions told like a story, huh? the questions kind of like told a story. You just had to read it that way, like scenario based. Yeah, questions. it was. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> tell, tell a story. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> but it was hard. But I don't know. You just gotta if you're gonna dive into something, you you gotta take it. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you gotta, gotta do it. Right, right. And so now you're here. Yes. You've been here for how long? Uh. Almost three months. Yeah. Okay. And um, have we uh, have we lived up to the initial culture that you experienced on the bus? Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's a great culture. It really is. And I, I keep saying that, but a lot of what I always, like, say as well is that people, they don't quit the job. They quit the management, yeah. you know? Yeah. And obviously, there's not, like, a manager here. You don't quite have a boss, but that still goes hand in hand with people like quitting like a job, you know, yeah. it's, I, I don't know, like who would want to quit here? <laughs> like I really, I really don't like the people are great. They're super, very supportive, no matter whether it's personal career oriented, like they're going to make sure you get to what you, where you want to be. And they hold you accountable to that. If you say, I want to accomplish this by this, they're going to make sure you do that. And why would you not want that? Yeah. They hold you to a standard. Yeah, and above that. It's a, to to much. Who much is given, much is required. We have yeah. a lot of, we have requirements. Oh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> we have requirements, mm -hmm. and uh, the motto here is FYE. Forget your excuses. That's edited. That is not <laughs> what it means, but it's forget your excuses, and and it's uh, it's all just to um, get built around uh, supporting you and your, your own individual goals and and pushing those, and it takes. It takes consistency, and you got to grind. Um, did you think that being in real estate, it would be this level of grind? H how is um, working hard at your job, your past job, and getting on the grind here different? How does that differ? Um, well, working in, like, a restaurant, you're, you're really appeasing to, like, the customer. But at the same time, you're just receptive to – you're like what they want or they'll just like tell you like I they, you take their order and then that's pretty much it you you just provide like a hospital service mm -hmm. whereas like here you're way more attentive um you have to like as we say mirror is match you have to understand their motivation behind it and I always like I before getting into finance I was a psych major so I was always trying to understand people's personality types. I'm a big communicator. C communicator, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I like to uh, dive deep into like someone's personality and understand like their mindset, like for things. You know, it teaches me, and I learn from them. So it was useful in that aspect to be able to you know like okay, there's four different personality types. Which one am I getting right now? You have to be able to kind of read it really mm -hmm. quickly. Whereas in the restaurant, people are just like, "I want this." You're like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Having a little bit too many, too much to drink. They got alter egos. Who they? This is soda water. <laughs> right. Oh man, um, is that so? Uh, if if you need some help with buying a home, mm -hmm. dare I say rental? 
You definitely can. Um, I know we're not really on the renting side as well, <laughs> but I'm the rental queen, I guess. Oh my god! <laughs> People uh, love me. <laughs> they call me for how rental. How can I get in contact? I have no problem with that. How can I get in contact with you, Nari? You can call me. My number is two four eight four six four forty three. 89. And that is the girl boss, Naria girl boss. Jones. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Goodbye. <laughs>